I'm Greg, a sailor, a jack of all trades and a bagpiper. I am working on continuing to remove bright work from the boat. Um, we have, the shop has become a disaster area again, unfortunately. Um, took down a birch tree and am continuing another project making candlesticks. You can see the uh, bore a hole in there for the tea light candle and they're you know different heights so I've got a few of these that I'm continuing up maybe get them done for Christmas um, here is everything from the mast all the various components all labeled um, there are the handrails that came off the boat so, you know, I am trying to put things back together again down here and clean up a bunch of different projects. But in the meantime, it's a sunny day. Uh, it's right after Thanksgiving. And I'm going to go out and see if I can't take some more of the bright work off. Uh, Chuck may stop by later. And we'll see what we can do to try to get the rest of the tow rail, starboard tow rail off. It really is a two-person job, one person up on deck um, holding the screw heads while someone else is being a contortionist down below trying to get the nuts off the bottom. And the challenge is that there's so many bolts poking through there. Uh, the bolts that hold the jib sheet track in place, the bolts that hold the tow rail in, and the bolts that bolt the deck to the flange on the hull. So it's hard to determine which nuts have to come off so that the screws can back out. And that's why it's easier to have somebody up on deck while someone else is down below. So in the meantime, I'm going to try to take all the combings off in the cockpit. Uh, they need to be re-bedded themselves and refinished because they're in pretty bad shape. And I think the easiest way to do all of that, obviously, is to take them off. So that's going to be more removing bungs and pulling out fastenings and see what I can do to take all that out. So that's uh, my task for this morning. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but we'll go out there and start filming. Hopefully I've resolved all of my issues with microphones and sound in these videos. Um, I had done a couple of weekends of filming before I started editing, so I didn't really know I had the problem until you know, a couple of weeks of filming. So, replaced all the batteries in the external wireless mics, and hopefully everything is working again. So, let's go out to the boat and see what we can get going. Oh, and before we head out, very excited, I had, uh, when I pulled the compass out, it was low on liquid, and the lens um, was pretty badly crazed and difficult to see. So it was a Ritchie compass and I took it up to Ritchie and asked if they could refurbish it and this is what came back from Ritchie. It is beautiful. And I looked at it and talked to the gentleman from Ritchie compass and said, is there anything from my original compass left here. And he basically said no. So their idea of refurbishing is basically replace every single piece of it. So in a sense, I have a brand new compass, which is awesome. So we'll get that installed probably next spring after I clean up and repaint the pedestal steering system. Off to the boat. So the cover still looks good. We've had a couple of windy, windy days. Um, so, well, fortunately, the lashing job held up and the cover hasn't shifted. Uh, Mainmast is still over here, all secured and still looking, well, the uh, roller furler is still all nicely wrapped and protected. Haven't had a chance to get to that and order parts for that yet. But let's get the ladder and get the boat at least partially unwrapped. All right, so I have the cover peeled back. It's a nice sunny day, relatively warm. So 
So my goal is to try to get that port side cockpit combing off, the starboard side cockpit combing, and then try to get chalks, blocks, you can see most of the jib sheet track has been pulled there and pull the rest of the bungs on this whole starboard tow rail and continue working way around the aft. If I can get the starboard and, and aft piece of trim off, that would be awesome. So, see what I can do. And then I think those two pieces on either side of the cockpit uh, companionway need to come off also. So, I'm gonna grab my tools and we'll get started. Well, as I'm pulling screws out, I'm discovering they are all different sizes. So I think I better start labeling which size screw goes into which position. Just one more thing to make life a little more challenging. Well, that was a challenge. Um, hopefully the time lapse showed what it took to get it off. But now we've got a lot of cleanup, a lot of old caulking in here. Um, and you can see that there, there was the original bedding put in when this was installed by the manufacturer. And then somebody else did more caulking after the fact, both in on the inside and on the outside to provide try to prevent water penetration and it didn't work so this it should have been taken off and rebedded it looks like there's two sets of holes so it does look like somebody did take it off once and rebed it well now this is the third time so hopefully third time's a charm so there is the port cockpit combing and I'm going to take that down to the shop and we'll strip that down this winter and re-varnish it and make it look beautiful again. And now on to the starboard side.
That's all there's. Will you do go to field metal? Yeah. <laughs> Try to get dead center in it so that you're not, you know, when I can re I can replace the bung with the same side. Then this comes out. So I think they jammed it in there and then dropped down. How do you go up? Uh, a whole lot of screwing the bottom of it. Yeah, a whole lot of little stuff. Grab a couple of blocks of wood, all of those little things. <laughs> but we haven't done anything to get this end out. So that was just a lot of caulking. Chuck just arrived, just in time to help me get the starboard cockpit combing off. And of course now I know we're supposed to wait until the project's over to start drinking beer, but you know, the sun's out. It's afternoon time, and we're on a boat. So drinking is always okay in a boat. So we are back to the starboard tow rail. There's two screws left. That one there I've got up enough that I can put vice grips on it. That one down there, oh boy, it's all stripped out. I don't know how we're gonna get that one out. And then Chuck is pulling all the bungs on the rest so that we can try to get this last piece and it'd be nice to get the whole starboard and around to the stern get all this tow rail off this have a screecher yes or a spinnaker yes both oh that's what this block is for yep and only two screws holding it yeah i know and they they don't even go in very far
This is a giant suck pill. This leg is in the way. Yeah, I got a leg over here that's bothering me, so I'm going to take it out. I'm going to take this one out now. Put it back in a minute. It's oh, out. Yeah. Me, it's out in about 10 seconds. Yeah, Let me have I didn't even thought of that. Because I'm going to have to take that one out too. Um, would you hand me, see that scraper? Top, the, 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 yeah, there you go, thank you. Looking, I'm like, there's no scrapers in my <laughs> eyesight here. This one's clear for you. Okay. I'll go clear the other one for me. <clears throat> oh, mother trucker. That's not good. Bust off? Yep. What do you mean? Uh, with the spores. Yes, we did. Yeah, it was fun. What was that, out of Gurnet? Yeah. Are there um, nuts on the other end of these? Oh, yeah. Well, no, I didn't forget. I was hoping maybe when they get back here in the corner, you couldn't reach up in from inside. Okay, so the other battery, or the battery in the other GoPro just died. So no more time lapse. But Chuck's been able to pull the bungs uh, all the way aft there. I've got some of the bungs pulled out in the front stretch. We managed to get the um, jib track off, so that's good. We've got a couple more bungs to pull out right here, and then I get to start playing contortionist again and climb back underneath into all these funny little lockers to get a wrench on the nut and bolt, I mean the nut on the back side of these bolts. And then we'll see. Carve this off just a tiny bit more this way, and this one will work. Okay, maybe we should do that. Okay, so the GoPro 7 battery died and we didn't get filming of us, but the starboard tow rail is now So it was a long day working on the boat, battery problems, and then now I forgot my remote microphone. So down in the shop, here are the cockpit combings and the smaller tow rail pieces, along with the boom for the boat. They're down here now, ready for the refinishing process. The main piece of the tow rail is just too long to fit in the shop, so I've hung it up overhead on the ceiling, along with the boom from my cat boat that needs to be sanded and repainted this winter. So those are stored up out of the way until I'm ready to start that refinishing project. Here are all the pieces from the mast ready to be put away for the season um, in preparation of being installed next spring. So thank you for watching these videos. Please hit the like button if you've enjoyed the content and don't forget to subscribe to get notifications when new videos come out. Thank you very much for following the sailing vessel, slow air.